Um, let me start by saying that uh, our public lands are not used equally among all Americans. That will come as no surprise to any of you. And that has been something I've actually been focused on for a very long time, uh, long since before this job. Uh, when I was at REI, we did a, um, a couple of significant market research studies to understand who's using public lands, uh, and how are they using them? And so I'm delighted to know that you are all doing your work and bringing your talents and your backgrounds to uh, Park Service in this case, but more broadly just to help us understand what we need to do to make sure that our public lands feel welcoming and relevant to all Americans, not just a subset, and, fr and frankly, uh, international communities as well. And I'll, I'll tell you one quick story. Um, I was on the National Park Second Century Commission, and, I, and collectively we worked on how do you shape the national parks for the next century. And when they asked me to join, I looked at the list of topic areas they had, and I said, I will only join if you will add a topic area, which they did not have, which was basically connecting people in parks and understanding how we make parks relevant, uh, not just to a new generation, but to all Americans. And it was all about diversity and inclusion and being relevant to young people. Yeah. You know, the journeys are different for folks, and I really respect that. I'm deeply committed to making sure that we're telling the stories, uh, we are reflecting the history and culture, and we're relevant to everybody in the United States and our public lands, uh, whether it's historic, natural, or cultural resources.